Let's talk on the crisis of healthcare in Nigeria. Okay. Yes, let's talk on that. I mean, I think the crisis on healthcare in Nigeria currently is a very big one. If I'm being very um, sincere and realistic, because Nigerian healthcare system right now is not the best. You know, there's a lot of hospitals that I have been to that just were not up to standards. You know what I mean? And, you know, I mean, in this time of social media and all that, we would see people who, you know, would complain about going to the hospitals and like spending so much time and not getting attended to, or people who, you know, it's like there are different stories that people tell from the incompetences that comes from you know, most of the staffs. I think it's not because they're not qualified. Most times it's because I think they're just reluctant. And also, I mean, when you're not paying your staffs very well, what do you expect? Your staff, I mean. Um, it becomes a problem. You know, and then people don't give their best. And then if people are not working in a very conducive environment, it's hard because the patients are suffering, the staff is suffering, and the management, sometimes it's really not their fault because if the right funds that were supposed to be allocated to these people were allocated to them, they would do their jobs. So I think the crisis when it comes to healthcare is, it's a big one. And it should be looked into. Mm -hmm. That's the right one. So how do we get to talk to the federal government or how do you think that the authorities can manage this? Good thing we have a new administration. And, you know, one of the things we would expect a new administration to do is to look into matters like this. You know, because when it comes to education, healthcare, these are most of the most, like, they're actually top three important things anywhere in the world. In fact, just generally for a human being, education, food, health care. So I think them being able to focus on the health care system in Nigeria and trying to make it better. We're losing people. You know, a lot of professionals are beginning to travel abroad because they feel like they're more valued abroad. My story is different. Some people would look at me and think, oh, you traveled abroad to go do your nursing because Nigeria, no. That's a different thing for me because I've been there since I was a kid, so it's different. But look at me, I'm back here. And I'm trying in my own, you know, at my own capacity to contribute to the healthcare system in Nigeria. But I can't really do much. Besides the little I can do, I can't really do much because I'm not in the government. I'm not in power. I'm just, you know, a normal citizen who just wants to contribute to the society. But I think that the government needs to pay attention to things like this. They need to set up rules and regulations that are strong. You know, they need to, first of all, allocate funds and follow up with it. Because sometimes, even if they do, some people just siphon the funds. You know, so you have, they have to make the effort. They have to put pe people in charge. If they say, oh, okay, we're giving out these funds to this hospital for um, remodeling and all that and all that. Now, it's up to them to have set up a committee that say, this is you guys' job to go to different, all these hospitals that we've made, you know, provision for them to fix, you know, the problem. Now you guys go inspect these places, you know, follow up with them, bring reports back. And there should be yearly or monthly or I don't know. I think there is, but maybe they're not doing it right. People who need to go to hospitals, go to clinics, go to medical facilities to inspect these places. Some of these places you go there, you can't even breathe. You can't breathe. You know, the the people are just negligent to the other people. You know, it's it's not, I don't know. The healthcare system in Nigeria is not something that is impressive. I will tell you that for free. It's not impressive. That's all right. So let's talk about your foundation. Like you have done incredibly well. Yes, using your foundation. Credits to you. Thank you. Right, let's talk about that, you know, and 
you know, those areas you've touched mm -hmm. right here in our country. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Um, I will start with saying my foundation has been up and running since 2018. And um, we're an international organization that focuses on healthcare and education. Um, healthcare most especially because, I mean, like we just talked about it, the healthcare system in Nigeria is not that great. And I mean, my nonprofit just doesn't function only in Nigeria. It functions abroad too. But I think I do more here. In your country. That's because it's your home country. <laughs> exactly. And I secondly, because we need it more. Over there, there's like access to funding. There's a lot of things made available. It's not perfect because it's never perfect anywhere. But I would say... We needed more here, and if I can contribute to this place, why not? So I made the decision because, you know, I've been volunteering for nonprofits for a long time, and I decided to start my own because you know how you can run your own and do it the way you want to do it. If you're working for people, you just have to follow their rules. But if you do your own, you follow your rules. But it's good to also get the knowledge. It helps you to go. And we started in 2018. We've done so much. We've tackled issues on malaria, typhoid. We've given vaccinations, HPV vaccinations. Um, we go to schools. We educate kids. We supply school materials. Um, we educate kids on hygiene. You know, we take it as a project. We go to... Um, orphanages and we offer free medical health care for them you know and food supplies and currently right now we have a project coming up on the 23rd and that's um free malaria testing typhoid testing and it's not just testing we do food treatment so you get tested so you see a doctor you get tested and you get medication on the spot so it's what she went to BK Foundation is about is rendering full skill health care to people. We do free medical eye care too. Um, by the grace of God, we've been able to partner with, you know, a couple of state governments, for example, Abia State, um, and some private sectors too, to provide, you know, health care to people because some people can't afford it. You know, some people can afford it. And I don't really know if there's hospitals in Nigeria that don't charge people to come get treatment and all of that. So, I mean, in the Nobody best way. Be <laughs> of course. That's what we're working that's towards right now. I mean, right now we're not even charging people for anything. We just say, just come. You know, come, come get tested. Come figure out your health situation. You know, we have blood pressure medications too for people. We have, we do blood sugar testing, you know, for people who are like early on it and they don't even notice. Cause some people are going through these things and because they're not, you know, so equipped, you know, in, not, they're not so equipped, like, you know, knowledge wise to understand or they're not so exposed to understand that. Or maybe if you're going through something, it might be as a result of an illness. They just, in Nigeria, we know we self-medicate a lot. So it's, if I have a headache, I feel, oh, malaria has come. I just took my last malaria pill two months ago. So I'm just going to take another one now. It could be something else. No. You know? Mm -hmm. So part of us also going out there to render free medical care to people is also... We, first of all, educate them. You know, we have to educate them first because they have to know what they're getting. And they have to know that these things take process. You have to get tested. You have to see a doctor. And then you have to get a prescription. And that's the way we follow it. We, we get set up. We have... Uh, we have um, volunteer teams of doctors, nurses, um, lab technicians, you know, and all of that. So we make sure we go according to how it's done. Because yeah. also as a healthcare person, yeah. I need to also make sure that people, things are done the right way and people are getting the right treatment. Because I want to know that if you go home, you're not going to say, oh, you know, they just didn't ask me what was wrong with me and they gave me medication, yeah, no. you know. And it's not always about the food that we go out there to give, because I know we're nonprofit people. We're also going to give 
people food and feed them and all of that. But people also need to be checked out health-wise. People also need to be, you know, looked out for in different ways. Because you might be hungry, yeah, but at the same time, you're also going through so much health difficulties. So why not just get both? <laughs> and that's what we're here to do. My name is Gloria Chiwandu Chibike. The relationship with my name and my foundation name, funny thing, a lot of people would think that the name Chiwe Chibike came from my name, but it didn't. That's actually my father's name. My name is Chiwendo, but my father's name is Chiwe Joseph Chibike, and I named my foundation after him. What I love doing most is giving back. Um, I find joy and fulfillment when, you know, I'm doing charity work. The people I would like to, or the organizations that I would like to work with, for one, the UN, <laughs> um, because I know that they are in a great position to help this country and you know with a good partnership with them my organization would be able to achieve a lot and to reach out to a lot more people and um you know the world the world health organization too it's another strong force that i would like to work with um bill clinton foundation i would also like to partner with a lot of ministries that you know are open to giving back and open to supporting humanitarian services in the country. I wish a lot for my country, but most especially I wish that, you know, Nigeria is going to be a place where people feel fulfilled and proud. You know, I know where people who are, I'm proud of my country. But I know that a lot of people, considering the situation of the country so far, you know, people are traveling, people are going, you know, trying to leave the country and all that. But I want this country to be a place that is safe enough for people to be around. And not just when it comes to security, when it comes to job, people getting jobs, infrastructure, you know, people being able to assess. Most especially, I want this country to be a country that gives people free medical health care. You know, in a lot of ways, people who cannot afford it and, you know, good electricity, good roads and just just a country where things are functioning, where if you work, you earn your pay. You know, I just want Nigeria to be a place that we all can live in and be genuinely happy. Mm -hmm.